Good morning, Zambia. Um, I just hope uh, we are all doing fine early this morning. Yeah, I just want to to say one or two or three things concerning the sad development that is that has just been foreign of our country. Um, the gunning down of uh, two civilians by the Zambia police yesterday. That's quite a very sad development for our country. 50 years plus after independence, we are still talking about political violence. We are still talking about uh, police brutality. It's a very big shame and a drawback to our country a country that uh, was well known in Africa to be the beacon of peace. But today, the rest is history. There are a few things that I want to talk about that I would want to state this morning. And uh, first and foremost, I want to, to thank the, the American government and the British government for taking an action, noticing that uh, this political violence in Zambia is getting out of hand. We appreciate them for voicing out. We have cried for so long. Zambians have died and we have been appealing to the international community to come in and help Zambia. The sad development that uh, took place yesterday involving two civilians gunning down of a uh, state prosecutor, uh, Mr. Samansa, as well as another civilian, Mr. Kaunda. It's a very sad development, including those that were brutalized. We monitored everything. We know what was going on. The opposition members were very peaceful, working, doing whatever they did within the confinements of the rules of Zambia. But we saw how the Zambia police infiltrated with PF cadres. Opposition cadres, they know their fellow cadres from the from from the other camp, and. The, some of them were able to identify those cadres. And this is what we have been talking about for so long. We have been appealing to President Eddie Garungu, don't put the cadres in the police service. That's a very sensitive uh, ministry that sh should be there to defend every Zambian. What do you expect to see at the end of the day when you put cadres in the service? You give them guns, you give them uniforms. Fellow countrymen and women, what we saw yesterday is a wake up call for our country. I've seen so many uh, citizens appealing that there has to be thorough investigations. Fellow countrymen, for how long are we going to call for investigations? If the sitting president cannot think about investigating the gassing of our, of our country, how do we expect how do we expect him to investigate such incidents? All this is happening because we have no leadership in the country. Absolutely no leadership in the country. If we had someone in the state house who cares about the well-being of our country, we wouldn't have been losing these lives today. It's so shameful. Unless he, maybe Mr. Edigarung is waiting for any of his, victim, his relatives to be a victim, that's when he's going to act as a president of Zambia. It's so shameful. This problem that we are seeing today of political violence, it is a project from the state house. And if Mr. Ed Galungu can just wake up today and mean well to the country to say, I don't want violence, 
fellow countrymen and women of political violence in Zambia will be the order of the day. But this is a project which is sustaining Mr. Edgar Rungu. He can't do away without political violence. He can't do away. We have been reporting, we have been telling the people of Zambia that even in the police service, senior, well-trained police officers today, they are crying. Cadres have been given high ranks commanding senior police officers telling them what to do. That's why you see such angry incidents happening in our country. Zambia deserves better. Zambia is not for PF. Zambia belongs to all the Zambians, whether oppositions, ruling or so ever. Everyone has got a benefit to our country and it's the responsibility of every sitting president to protect every Zambian, including those that doesn't agree with him like myself. But if the president is in the forefront of scheming to eliminate his competitors, what did you expect? It's the gunning down of innocent citizens. No one deserves to die in such a manner. They killed Grezia Matapa. We talked about it. They ignored. They don't care. They killed Mapenzi Chiburu. Was she armed? Never. They killed Vespers. Was she armed? She was just innocently sleeping. They, they killed the Obed Gwaria Kasongo, the NDC youth leader. They killed Lawrence Banda. They have killed so many. The president has never taken any interest to bring the culprits to justice. Just like we have been calling for the international community, we are going to continue calling. We have cited whatever you are seeing today, we have talked about it. Even before the, the, the sad incident yesterday, some of you underrate what we talk about. You underrate what we publish, but you saw for yourself. It shouldn't be something that it should surprise us as Zambians. Because we were told, Bowman Rusambo declared war. Stephen Kampiongo declared war. Esther Katongo declared war. Simply because Zambians, they felt like they should go and escort Aka in the Ishirema. It's not a crime. There is no, no law or a, within our constitution that states that if you are summoned by the police or maybe you are, you are going to court, you should not be escorted. When Chirufia Chitar was appearing before the court, it is on record. PF cadres there went even this, you know, disturbing the court operations. Did the police shoot at anyone? Absolutely no. But today I see some people trying to shift this blame to put it on Aka in the How can Aka in the take people, you know, he's causing fellow countrymen. Let us be serious with the Zambia. Zambia doesn't belong to PF. Zambia is for all Zambians. Haka in the how can Haka in the the victim of assassination, several times we have talked about these issues, they are in black and white, we have written about these situations. How can be the, the survival of assassination, several times, be the engineer of this political violence? What powers does Haka in the have to, to, to be gunning down the citizens? Let us be fair. There is no crime whatsoever for Aka in the to exercise his democratic rights as a Zambian, to aspire for presidency. We should do all question and look at Mr. Ed Galungu as the man behind this. Nobody at this point in time can stop this political violence apart from Mr. Ed Galungu. Before this happened, Innocent Ikarimanshi, he may have his own issues, but I want you, my fellow countrymen, to pay particular attention to what Innocent Ikarimanshi has been saying. The battle that Innocent Ikarimanshi has with the Home Affairs Minister, the issues that Innocent Ikarimanshi, a well-known PF member, is bringing out. Not long ago, Innocent Ikarimanshi told the country about who gunned down another opposition supporter, Lawrence Banda. He told the country 
And those are the guys that are found in the state house. What action did the president take? Those of you are saying we need the investigation. What investigations are we looking for when we know where the source of this violence is coming from? We know that all this violence is coming right from state house. Nothing that we are going to say, no, we are going to, we need the investigation. What investigations? Innocent Karimanshi told the people of Zambia, Francis Muchemwe, Gandhi down. The poor Lawrence Panda. The sitting president doesn't care, Ed Garungu, because it's not, maybe they are not his supporters, they are not his relatives, the people who are dying. It is the high time that uh, even the international community, I'm just hoping that they are not just going to end on their statements. The British government, the US government, we are looking forward that the serious and the stern actions should be taken against the PF government. This is why they are failing today to work on a dying economy. They have got money to purchase bullets for poor innocent citizens. Unlike pushing to improve the lives of the people of Zambia. It's so shameful and quite regrettable for our country. It's so shameful to see citizens being gunned down like common criminals. And yet we say we have a president. What type of a president is Mr. Edgar Rungu? Is he? We are repeating this. All this political violence is coming from the state house. And it's the high time that even you, the church, the church leadership, that is quite, that feels you are safe. Right now, as I'm speaking to you this morning, there is no Zambian who's safe. Whether you are quiet, you are hiding, or what, there is no one who's safe. All of us, we are prone to these deaths all being sponsored by the state. It should concern us. Guns have got no eyes. War doesn't choose us. We have only one Zambia that we have to stand and defend. The constitution has been raped. All public institutions have been raped. What do you expect? This is why even this new register, the, the voters re register, it's a scam. It's a scam that is meant to undermine democracy in Zambia. We have talked about these things. And all we are seeking for is for justice for the people of Zambia. We are going to keep on talking even if Mr. Edgar Rungu puts some of us on the death row, we are going to continue speaking on all these criminal activities going on. If there was a president in the state house, Mr. Nsama wouldn't have died such a death. If there was a president in the state house, Mr. Kaunda wouldn't have died such deaths, including all those people that we have been continuously talking about. Early this year, I wrote to Mr. Edgar Rungu, asking, demanding for justice over the people that his government has killed. There is no investigation that we are going to cut out. This problem is coming from state house. Which wings, which public institution is going to, to investigate Mr. Edgar Rungu? There is absolutely none. Innocent Karimanji tells the country that the Home Affairs Minister is involved in other activities where citizens have been killed. And we don't get concerned as Zambians. We don't get concerned. And when we see these things happening, we begin to ask, no, we need the investigation. What investigations? The problem is in the state house. There is no leader there. We need someone who, who thinks and who cares for humanity. It's so shameful. We don't deserve to see what we are seeing today in Zambia. Zambians deserve to be respected, Mr. Rungu. No matter what happens, you'll never be a president forever. There has been dictators, very powerful dictators, but their ending has been very, 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 very bad. I just hope, Mr. Edgar Rungu, where you are on this vacation, 
you will live in Osaka and such a disaster as takes place. I just hope you are thinking twice that we are all just the passerby in this world. Think about those citizens today who are being robbed of their beloved ones. We know all of us we have been put on the red line. But what we can promise is that we are going to talk, we are going to talk, we are going to bring out anything happening. Before you finish us, at least the world will know what is going on in Zambia. On that one, we rest assure you. Thank you.